when we begin this film, Thor and the Warriors 3 have been sort of peacekeeping. We're trying to police the Nine Realms and to restore order. I've got this completely under control. Is that why everything's on fire? Thor might step into the responsibility of possibly being king, and there's an inner conflict about where his place is with Jane on Earth or here in Asgard. He's been sort of keeping track of Jane in a kind of protective way, but suddenly strange things start to happen on Earth because he can't resist going down to, to try and help. I gave you my word. I would return for you. Jane comes in contact with this kind of evil, powerful force, and Thor is just bent on making sure that he can save her. This time around, we're faced with a force that is almost unconscionably dark and evil, and they're intent on the absolute destruction of Asgard and all its realms, which Earth would be one of them. There's so many pieces in the puzzle, and the scope of this film feels bigger than we'd seen before, and it's fantastic. We're running out of time. The very fabric of reality will be torn apart. I'll find a way to save us all.